This was actually inspired by a barn quilt that I saw sometime last year before I did a project. And um, I've been thinking about one ever since. And I thought, you know what? Valentine's Day is a good time to do one because, um, I don't know, quilts remind me of love and warmth and Hello my sweets, it's Keisha. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Okay, so what I have here next is a wood frame that I picked up actually at um, the thrift store, uh, again, last year. And um, it's actually one that you can purchase at Michael's. It's the Art Minds brand and it's a, a wood frame. I did go online to see if they actually have this particular one and I didn't see it, um, but this measures about eight by eight. Um, so if you have a scrap piece of wood um, that you would like to use or even a frame, uh, it may work for this project uh, once you see what I'm fixing to do here because I'm, I'm going to end up covering this over. So, so what I have here is the Waverly Wax and Antique and a baby wipe. And I'm just gonna come in with this and get this all over this um, frame here. All right, so next I have here uh, two sets of five tumbling tower blocks glued end to end and um, the next thing I'm going to do is just glue these pieces here. Oops, got a little crazy with the glue. Glue these pieces here and then I'm going to use the um, antique wax on that as well. So I'm using some wood glue and some hot glue. So next what I'm going to do is the same thing like how I did the frame. Just take a wipe here and I'm going to go along all sides of it. I just don't need to do the bottom because we're not going to see the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and do these and then set them aside to dry. So next what I have here is tumbling tower blocks and um, I have them glued up in sets already so I have seven sets of three glued end to end, two sets of two glued end to end, and then two single ones. So in between um, these and the last ones that we just stained, the two sets of five, um, we actually used a full box and one out of a box. So we used 37 blocks, okay? So what I wanna do is actually um, kinda give these like a stain of different colors. So I did water down um, some different color paints. I have this ballerina slipper and then it goes from uh, white all the way to a dark gray that I have of watered down paints. Um, I will list all of the colors that I used um, in the description box as I usually do, um, but you don't have to use the same exact colors that I use. Um, I wanted to use colors that, I don't know, I guess invoked Valentine's Day, but um, you could essentially have them out all year. Um, that makes sense. So basically I have just this light pink color and I want it to look more of like a stain than anything else. So I'm hoping that's what I'll achieve here. And I'm going to wipe back some of this color here too, because we can always add. It's more difficult to take away. So Go ahead and start with that one. So I only wanted one of the pink ones. And now we're gonna move to the white. 
So I'm gonna do two of the white. Alright, so I've got all my pieces together here, and now we're going to go ahead and put the heart. This is going to end up being a heart. I don't know if I said that already. Um, heart together. So I'm going to take the one pink one, and then the two white ones. And I'm just going to kind of stagger them up. So this is the second set okay so I just want something that looks like this so it's a nice little ombre heart that comes to pink in the middle okay so and it's going to end up going over this section here so what I'm going to do now is start to glue this together and I'm going to be using uh, wood glue for this. So that's what we have so far. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna let this glue set up a little bit and then I'll be right back. So the next step that I'm gonna do, and I think this isn't completely dry, but I'm gonna keep going, is um, to go ahead and glue this right on top of here. And so I wanna make sure that that opening is covered and then, um, so I'm gonna ad start adhering it with the wood glue. And then um, once I get it kind of stuck on there, then what I'm gonna do is flip it over and uh, put some glue in this, uh, some hot glue in this area here to secure it just a little bit further. Okay. So I'm gonna start by just going around. And of course, if you have just like, a real piece of wood. Oh, well, like this is a real piece of wood, but if you have like a solid piece of wood, you wouldn't have to do all this extra that I'm doing. Um, as far as where you're trying to secure it at. And I'm gonna get some glue. Just right along in here. Clean out this glue as best as I can. What we have so far. So I'm pretty satisfied with the placement of that. And it's got pretty good adhesion so far, so I'm gonna flip it. Let me clean up this. glue that oozed and I'm just going to come in with the hot glue gun and this frame actually came with like a kickstand I guess that I could potentially use to just keep it I guess you you kind of can't see that, can you? Um, to just keep it like this. Or I'm thinking that's why I did these here so that I could um, have it on a stand. Um, the other option uh, is if you have wall space, you can hang it on the wall. That's kind of where I'm like, should I put it on a stand? 
should I make it be on a stand or should I put it on a wall so it's I mean put it so it can hang on the wall I'm gonna go ahead and make it so it's on the stand so we're gonna go ahead with some wood glue here So that's what we have and I really love the simplicity of this uh, this was actually inspired by a barn quilt that I saw sometime last year before I did a project and um, I've been thinking about one ever since and I thought you know what Valentine's Day is a good time to do one because um, I don't know quilts remind me of love and warmth and um, that's something that, um, uh, this is gonna sound like odd, but uh, a lot of times my mom always made sure that we had uh, quilts on our bed. So, um, and she always had quilts on her bed. So um, this kind of resonates with that for me. That's kind of why I wanted to do it in uh, kind of like a neutral color so that um, if I wanted to, I could keep it out all year long, so. Um, I really love this color scheme. If you're not into pink, you can most certainly choose a different color that goes with your household or even just do it white. But I absolutely, I think this is uh, my favorite project of the day, so. All right. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and remember, Love, inspire, create. See you next time.